Once upon a time, in England, there lived a young orphan girl named Jane Eyre with her aunt. A wealthy woman, her aunt never really cared much for Jane, and she was always busy nurturing her own pompous children. By a stroke of luck, Jane got sent off to a boarding school with hopes of starting a new chapter in her life, free of her aunt's antics and her terrible children. However, much to her dismay, her life at the boarding school was far from ideal. The evil headmaster made the students live in poverty, while he and his family enjoyed a life of luxury. Miraculously, the headmaster was forced to depart the academy when certain mishaps concerning the students' lives happened, and the academy became a safe haven for Jane. She spent a few years of her life in this academy, and even became a teacher there after her graduation. When her life at the academy became boring, she decided to open new doors in her life, and found another job as a French girl's private tutor in a beautiful manor named Thornfield. Her life at Thornfield provided her with a fresh and exciting experience, and she found herself baffled at the mysteries surrounding Thornfield. Perhaps the biggest mystery of all was her rugged and aloof employer, Mr. Rochester, who didn't seem to care much for Jane at first, but grew fond of her over time. Jane also realized that arrows of love had pierced her heart sometime in the past without her noticing. Rochester, determined to play hard to get, invited a vicious and charming woman named Blanche to Thornfield and flirted with her to invoke a sense of jealousy in Jane. Unbeknownst to Jane, it was all a part of Rochester's cunning plan to make Jane confess to him. Ironically, his plan proved to be counter-effective, and he became the one who ultimately declared his love for Jane and asked for her hand in marriage. However, the two lovebirds' happiness was cut short on their wedding day. Jane learnt that Rochester, in fact, had another wife named Bertha, who'd lost her mind and became a deranged woman, and Rochester, despite having no feelings for her, was bound to her by duty. Shocked by this revelation, Jane immediately decided to flee Thornfield and leave her husband at the altar. Days and months passed in Jane's life as she tried to forget Rochester and prepare herself for a marriage with another man, but as if bound to him by an invisible thread, she heard his voice one night calling for her and hurried to Thornfield. There, she witnessed a horrible scene. Bertha had burnt the entire manor to the ground and taken her life along with it. Rochester, in an attempt to evacuate the servants, had lost one of his hands and his eyesight to the vicious fire. When he noticed Jane by his side, he shed tears and declared his true love for Jane. Determined to forgive Rochester and start a new life with him, Jane decided to rebuild her relationship with this impassioned man and live the rest of her days 